Hi guys and welcome back to ONJ Gaming and you're me Ollie and today we're back with another tutorial video um, this is basically a follow up to uh, my previous tutorial video on do with um, uninstalling Pokemon Go and that but there's a bit more in this because some some people are having problems with the password or logging in as well so this video should cover that for you so there's three things so shall we get into this video so um right and uh, with the password um somebody uh, commented down below that when they tried to make a account on here um it didn't work um reason why it may not have worked is because you probably didn't do and what it says here your password must include at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter so a capital letter and a non-capital letter um it's uh, blah 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 a letter and a number so it has to have like a one or two or three or something like that a number in it and at least one other character so th that is not the a letter or a digit such as the little hashtag you see you can do hashtag you can do the at symbol you can do um what else you can do a dot you can do um a comma and um or you can do a pound sign or a euro sign or you can do them type of uh, things so you have to have one of those in it that's why your password wouldn't work so you need to have at least you need to have at least a lowercase a uppercase so a capital letter a lowercase so a normal letter um a number so any number between um one and nine or well you can have loads of numbers um it has to have a symbol so the hashtag or the plus or the minus sign sign like that has to have and we recommend inserting numbers and symbols into the beginning middle and end you don't have to you can do it where wherever you want to put it it's completely up to you but as well as i recommend having the password at least uh, six six um long so you can have like four four words um a number and a symbol or whatever but i would have it as short as six you can do it longer but as long as it contains all then it should work um yeah so this all should work as well as with the email here make sure you put your actual email and make sure you put it properly because people have gone hang on a minute my email address isn't working why is it working you may have made an account and accidentally maybe just typed in the wrong letter or added a dot or something you might have added something because it won't tell you that you've done your email wrong here it'll just say oh you've done an email we've sent you a code not a code a ver verify um, to verify the email so if you've done it wrong I'm sorry to say you would have to create a new account again I'm very sorry but once you've done that and you've gone create account you've done it wrong you have to make a brand new account it is annoying but you if you don't know the email address you're more likely won't be able to change it so make sure you got the email address correct make sure okay that is a big part of doing this um so make sure you've got password with all the stuff it needs so if you aren't sure or you're confused about any of this stuff comment below but you can always look up as well look up what lowercase means look uppercase you can look them up and see what they actually mean but yeah as long as you've got all them in there the password work and make sure you've got the email correct so now let's move on to the next thing
right um so the ne next thing is i'll be showing you if you have forgotten your password or your username uh on here password or username uh, so you basically go to forget log in info and it should uh, it should bring up the web address so first of all you may not be able to see this if not um because my recording software may not pick this up but if it has here it is it'll come up with saying forgot username or password so you can say retrieve username and with retrieve username it will it'll ask for the email um so they can send you your username through email and if you click reset password um it'll ask for your email again and what it'll do it'll send a link to your email for you to reset reset the password so you can do that on your phone tablet you, you can do it on the computer whatever but yeah so basically it'll send you a link um for a password to just do a brand new password or it'll give you your username it for email so as long as they've got your right email that'll work but if you yeah so but if that doesn't all work um i don't know because people are still having trouble for some reason but by even doing all that and i think it's just an error so they say just uninstall and reinstall it or go on that actual website on the Pokemon Online website and log in onto there and if it works on there if it works on the website then just uninstall and reinstall Pokemon Go and uh, Pokemon Go what is that like Pokemon Online um yeah so next uh, let's head over to the next bit right um it looks like some people are still having problems with uninstalling pokemon online um because pokemon online doesn't always want to work so you want to uninstall it and reinstall it i did a video i'll put the link in the description if i remember i hope i do if i don't um comment below and remind me uh yeah so people have some having some problems so i'll quickly just go uh, go over what I did previously previously I went right type in uninstall uninstall and it will come up with add and remove programs you just click on that uh, just drag that here so you can see make it big Right, it'll take a bit to load, so um, it says we couldn't find anything, but it will load up. It just takes a while to load the apps. Right, I'll be back when it's loaded. Right, um, so once it's loaded, um, it can take up to five minutes. Depends how many programs you've got on your computer. And type in poke, um, and it'll go through, try and find it. There we go, Pokemon Online. So, um, some people can't install it um, through this way by clicking on it and clicking on install. Um, well, it's quite um, annoying, but that's how you normally would do it. But if that doesn't work, then I would uh, close this. Right, then I would um, go down to the search bar again and uh type in pokemon online so it comes like that but we want um we comes like that so you can uninstall it this way um by doing if you if you can't uninstall it this way you can do it as one as um one as and minister if it's your own computer Otherwise, you have to get um, someone who, who actually, um, you know, owns the computer. Your mum, your dad, your friend, your brother, your sister, whatever. If you don't own it yourself. And then it'll run the whole Pokemon Go. If it still crashes, then click uninstall. If that doesn't work, then um, I would 
then go to open file location if you open the file location uh, let's drag this here and there we go you've got the file so you see where it says Pokemon you've got that so you could do that but look um, it's just showing the shortcut so there's the uninstall another uninstall so you could try it that way otherwise you can head out of that head out of programs into programs where it says there and there's Pokemon Online and then you just delete that folder so you highlight it and then you delete it and it should be gone from the um, thing but um, I cannot get if it isn't you just type type Pokemon again Pokemon Online and do file location again and it might be up somewhere else but yeah that's where it should be start programs should be there if it's not um it's somewhere on your computer so if it's not on your com if it's not like there um so what you have to do is go go to this pc um when it loads up and then then in this search bar up here type in pokemon po oh i spelt that completely wrong pokemon online um and you'll come across there's another folder so yeah you'll get loads of all these um but then that's good because um, online data. So if you click on that, there we go. That's where you can then delete the whole lot. So you can go across um, Pokemon Refresh, Pokemon Online. It it's normally would be in your downloads folder. So that's quite handy. So if this none of this helps, um, then I don't know what to say. Um, personally, I don't know, but yeah, you go to that and then you go into your downloads and or wherever it's stored the, uh, this folder, and then you just highlight it and delete it, and then it's gone. Okay, um, that's probably the best way of doing it. Um, I would suggest. But if you have any questions, please comment below, and I will try and answer them. So that's three things what might help you guys out. Um, the first two would do with the password slash emails. So that the first two is that if you can't log in or you can't create an account, then two were to help. And um, the last one was about um, about people having problems with uninstalling. So I really hoped this video has helped you guys out. If it hasn't comment below and if there are any problems what i can make another video on i will but if i can otherwise i'll just comment uh, i will make uh, blah, blah, blah. i will um i will reply to you and um see if i can help you out if you have any other problems so i hope you enjoyed watching and i will see you tuesday yeah, Tuesday for another um, Pokemon video and it will be a Pokemon pack opening of Darkness Abla Ablaze. That's the brand new Pokemon packs that have only just come out. So um, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, join me then and yeah. Alright, bye.